Black Organization Movie Hype! 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 Movie 13 Yasui Jiro Yamamoto Kazunari Kochi Conan vs Black Org S tier Best movie of all time <clears throat> Is what you all want me to say, right? Well, no. <laughs> this movie for me ultimately disappoints and squanders any potential its premise and its cast gave it. Yes, I said that. Don't get me wrong, the movie has a very intriguing main case involving serial killings with an even better side plot with a new black organization member that's hot on Conan's trail. But in my opinion, the movie is ultimately let down by two things, its pacing and its execution of its themes. Let's start with pacing first. The movie has some really bad pacing issues, particularly in act two. After the setup, the movie just meanders all the way to its climax. It's just endless talking, 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 with nothing really that exciting happening. Now, this inherently isn't a bad thing, mind you. There are lots of great movies out there that are just predominantly talking, like think Oppenheimer, think, uh, I can't think of another one. Oppenheimer. Let's let's just do Oppenheimer. <laughs> but what this movie does wrong is that the talking feels like just endless surface level exposition dumps. Every character here, especially this guy, is just an exposition dump. No character in this movie, with the exception of Hattori Heiji in one scene, talks with any sort of humanity. They're there to feed Conan information and that's it. No glimpses of character like in movie 10 where Kogoro calls his wife for reassurance or in movie 5 with high bar going through grief. Just here Conan have information, have all the information you want. You got enough information? Okay bye. Like I'm sure you guys know the diagram for the 3 act structure for storytelling. This is what it should be like but this is what it felt like to me in the Raven Chaser where it should be escalating, where it should be getting more exciting. It dips and dips hard. It ends up creating a very uneven watching experience. But I hear you say what do you mean Paulus? The case does escalate in the second act. Yes, the case gets more interesting on paper, but you can't forget that an interesting case on paper still has to be presented interestingly on screen. And I feel the movie doesn't really do a good job of this. If you don't really get what I'm talking about, here's a visual I can show you to help you understand. Imagine you went to watch, I don't know, The Dark Knight or Star Wars in cinemas for the first time, but when the movie begins, all you see is the script of the movie scrolling on screen. The content is great, yes, the content is still Star Wars, it's still Dark Knight, but it's just you watching a pile of text roll by. That's kind of how I felt when watching this movie. If you ask me, this movie sorely needed a story-driven action scene in the middle to really push into Act 3. Kind of like the helicopter scene in the 14th target, or hell, even the motorcycle chase like in Crossroads. Oh my god, I just gave props to movie 7. What the fuck am I doing? The movie, in my opinion, also has a problem with the execution of its themes, which is my second point. Now, your interpretation of a movie's theme can be subjective, of course, everybody's different, but my interpretation was that this movie was trying to push two themes, the theme of danger and the theme of escalation. How did I come to this conclusion? Well, just watch that opening scene. Just by this dream sequence, we are told that if Conan ever slips up in his battle with the Black Orb, his loved ones are dead, which should mean, at least for the plot of this film, Conan should be feeling the pressure of inching closer to solving the case due to the dangers of the Black Orb. High Bar even reinforces this with her concerned outburst at Conan. This film never seems to convey that, not until it's too late anyway. Conan is always shown leisurely collecting his evidence. None of his loved ones are ever shown to be in any danger. They keep saying they are, but we never actually feel it in its full effect. A good example of a Conan film that shows this element of danger really well is Movie 4. Capture in her eyes, where Ran is constantly being targeted. That stakes. That's danger. I see that. I feel that. And I feel that the Raven Chaser should have taken a note out of Movie 4's book. It's also relayed to us that by virtue of Conan solving the case, escalation is bound to happen with the Black Orc throughout the film. But the film essentially sidelines the Black Orc until the very end, so you don't get that feeling of escalation either. The only scene that I can think of that may have shown a little bit of what this theme of escalation could have been is that scene with Chianti and Korn trying 
trying to snipe down Takagi and Sato. But it's over in like 10 seconds and we never see them again until the end of the movie. It gives us a glimpse but it doesn't fully realize it. I know I know I've been shitting on the movie this whole time but I do have some good things to say about this film. Firstly the mystery as I said on paper is one of the best the movies have to offer. It's just a shame it wasn't presented very well. It's also great having the wide cast of characters from the show be here even if they are just there for fan service. The final climax, come on everybody knows this final climax. The one with the black organization helicopter at Kyoto Tower. Hands down one of the best action scenes in the series. Far none. The new agent Irish was a good villain, although a little bit underutilized in my opinion. Ran is given a scene to be a complete badass which I really like despite her thinking she could dodge a bullet just because it fires from a theoretically slower type of firearm. Woman a bullet is still a bullet. Okay fine, sure, have your matrix moment. All in all this movie was practically gift wrapped a home run and in my opinion fumbled it. The movie was so enamored by its mystery that it kind of forgot to make an entertaining film to tell that mystery. It's super disappointing and almost makes you think what could have been if this movie was in the hands of another director. This film had a lot of potential and could have been one of the best but for me it disappoints and falls into the D tier. Next week we go to movie 14 Detective Conan The Lost Ship in the Sky. I'll see y'all then. Bye everybody.